Hi, my name is John Nyes. This is my dog Rush, and we're going to the Agility World Championships in Luxembourg this year. Uh, Rush is a national agility championship. He has a free championship. Uh, he's also won the silver medal. He is a Mach 7 dog, and he has yeah, so many titles. He's got a great personality. He's laid back at home. He's your lap dog, and when he's ready to go on course, he's ready to run. He's a really a team player. He loves to please you and work together on course. Um, he's one of a kind. I really enjoy Julian Gillity because it is a bond with your dog. And number one, you know, they're my best friend at home, you know, and they're your buddy. But to get out there and compete with them is another whole level. Um, they're, they enjoy doing it with you. They're excited to do it with you. There's not a day we don't step out here he's not excited to work. And then when you're off the field, they're still with you. You know, they're by your side all the time. So it's a unique bond um, when you're out there with your pet and your, you know, your buddy. Uh, Paulette was the owner of Rush and she was on the world team for two years with Rush. Uh, we were best friends and trained together for many years. Um, Paulette became ill and um, came down with cancer and had a hard time running him. So I kind of stepped in and started running him um, back in 2010. And that first year he took second place at the nationals with me. And then we went on to the world championships in 2010 together. Uh, we worked really hard that year to, you know, for our gold, and she was able to see him win the medal in 2010, which was, you know, for both of us was, you know, unspeakable. You know, we was a, a, some goal that we both got to do together before she passed away. Um, so he was not only has taken me, but Paulette on the world team since he's been two and a half years old. After Paulette passed away, he came to live with me full time, and. Uh, We'll stay here forever. <laughs> Atmosphere is nothing other than just like the Olympics. Um, every country is there rooting for their teams and supportive. Um, it's a really exciting event. And uh, from opening ceremonies to the meddling, it's, you know, it's nothing like you experience anywhere else. For when I'm getting ready for the World Championship, I focus a lot on the international skills we're going to need and less on the full courses. Um, there's a lot of threadles and push outs and different uh, things that we need to learn before we go to the World Championship and focus on and make sure we can execute them really quickly. Um, we don't always get a chance to do that locally because we don't compete with those type of challenges. So I focus on the harder challenges at home and not so much of the coursework. Um, and then in between conditioning the dog and really keeping them in shape, getting ready to go. Rush probably had his best tryouts this year. I know it might've been a little bit different. I was a little, after so many years, I'm getting pretty comfortable with him. And uh, he had a, a awesome, he won his spot on the, you know, the first day. And that's the best way I like to do it. I like to get it done with and know that I'm on the team and sit back and relax. But he's uh, I'm pretty comfortable with the style and we're really working together. Rush is nine now, um, I'm hoping. I mean, you know, this will be another year on team, maybe one more year before he retires from international competition. I would like to see him make the podium and my other goal would be to go back to um, England and try to compete at Cross with him. I think that would complete his full circle of winning you know, for his career. Maybe another litter in the future, another breeding in the future. Have a, a sibling from him would be great. <laughs>